Welcome back everyone. Today I'm taking a look at the new McFarlane toy from the Disney movie Prince of Persia featuring the six inch version of Prince Dast. This character is played by Jake Gyllenhaal. I want to note that the packaging is really nice. It's got really nice graphics and you get a really good picture of Jake on the side here and a description of how the figure works up in the upper corner. It's nothing too spectacular but it gets the point across and it's, it's pretty good. The accessories that he comes with is a sword and the dagger of time and the little description up top is uh, you push the leg and it swings one of the swords across his body so that's kind of neat but that's the gimmick on this figure it's pretty nice and we're gonna check it out and see how it really is out of the packaging let's take a look at the back of the box though it's basically got a picture of the deluxe figures which are the six inch figures up in the left hand corner on the other side there's the four inch figures and then there's uh, Dastin and his horse and then there's another play set and then there's a dagger of time let's take a closer look at them so those are the four figures you can get in the six inch line and those are also the four figures you can get in the four inch figures and then there's the other extra figures uh, like the dagger of time and then the, down here is just the description of those figures so it's nothing too fancy. I just want to give a quick shout out to ComicLot777 for picking up this figure for me. Here's a link to his page, he's an awesome guy. So thanks again and I hope you like your Mary Marvel. Before I open them up, I just want to take a quick look at the packaging up close and the figure in the box. Looks really nice here. It's kind of a good likeness. Uh, I can't say that it looks perfect. As you can tell, that's the character and then that's the figure. So it's pretty close. It's not perfect. And then there's the Dagger of Time and then there's this sword. It's pretty cool. So let's take them out of this packaging and check them out. All right, now that I have Prince Destin out of his packaging, you can take a good look at him. On the surface here, this figure looks pretty decent, but when you take him out of his packaging and you kind of put him in your hand and try to move him around, you quickly find out that this figure is a pile of crap. And yes, I said that. I'll go on record saying this is the first figure I strongly dislike. It's not because I don't like the way the figure looks, it's just because the articulation and everything about the figure is totally crap. And it took me probably five minutes just to stand him up without falling over because of his legs and it's just really poor. I can't say that I was super excited about this series but I just thought it would be cool and it is kind of a cool series but the figures don't seem very good. This is the six inch figure. I believe the four inch figures from what I'm hearing are quite better but I do not know that and when those come available we'll check them out. But yeah the first look at these six inch figures are not so great. At least not with this figure. Enough talking about the figure, let me show you guys. Alright, so here's a closer look at Prince Dastin. Spin him around for you. I mean, I want to say that the figure looks pretty good. It looks like the character. Um, all this material here is this soft rubber. I mean, it looks pretty nice. That part looks really nice. You can see that joint right there is a big no-no and there's no knee articulation and there's just a lot of no articulation on this figure honestly so you can see that's the figure it doesn't look bad but it just plays bad so here's the gimmick on the figure and this is the only way i've been able to find out how to work it is you actually just twist the waist here and it just does that i mean come on what it, what is this i'm not going to rant in this video but if you leave a comment telling me please rant all the things you hate about this figure I will, because I could go all day on this figure. But look at that, come on. That's pretty poor. I would much rather that not be there. So let's take a look at the articulation. This will be pretty quick. The head can only go back and forth this way. You could probably spin it all the way around, but it's really tight and I think if I twisted it, it possibly might break off. This left arm can spin all the way around. But other than that, there is no articulation other than the wrist. There's no elbow articulation. No bicep articulation. I mean, we're talking, that's pretty poor. And this arm over here, where it has the gimmick where it does that, like, where he swings the weapon, he does have elbow articulation and wrist articulation. It's a little better, but this, you can't move the arm. See that? Like this, um, it's locked up. So there's no shoulder articulation there. I mean, what are you doing? I, I don't know. And the age on this package is eight and up. I mean, I've seen packaging with four and up have 50 times better articulation. I'm just not really sure what they're doing and what they're thinking. Yeah, the waist, well, look, that's all, that's what the waist that you get. Um, I don't, what, I just, ah, man, this really ticks me off. I really do not like this figure. And uh, I'm really optimistic. If you watch my videos, I mean, I like everything. I spend my hard-earned money 
buy figures that I like. Um, and this, honestly, I thought I might like it. No, I don't. I really don't. We got this sliding V articulation here in the hips here, where it only slides back and forth like this. Like, what kind of real articulation is that? That is just not realistic. And then, even better, we have this below the knee articulation. Look how this leg bends. I mean, we're talking exorcism right here. This is like exorcist right here. That, and then there's no ankle articulation. Oh my goodness, I'm just, it's almost funny how they even thought that anyone would want this figure after watching this review. I mean, I hope people watch this and be like, whoa, I'm not buying these figures. This is just not right. So yeah, that's the articulation on this figure. I don't know what else to say other than if you like all that, if you're just gonna leave him up and hope that he doesn't fall over, go for it. I mean, if you like Jake Gyllenhaal, Hey, go for it. I mean, it looks kind of close to them. If I was you, I would take a, I would wait and see what the four-inch figures look like. Supposedly, they don't have all this other gimmicky, arm twisty, no articulation crap. So yeah, thanks for watching my review, and I hope this was helpful. So um, so if you see these figures, you can now you know what they're like, and you can either buy them or don't buy them. But thanks for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment telling me if uh, you want to hear a rant on this figure, because I got one.